Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we are going to show you how to do the initial steps to run a DMA test on an Electroforce test instrument. First, make sure that your grips are aligned well. The alignment routine varies with testing geometry. We are showing you a set of tensile grips. Bring your upper and lower grips close to each other using the lift and micro adjust. Use micro adjust to rotate the lower grip if needed. You can use a flat rigid sample as a guide for alignment. Lock the column clamps and tighten the micro adjust when you are satisfied with the alignment. The second step is completing compliance compensation routine. Choose the appropriate rigid sample from your rigid sample kit based on your testing geometry. For tensile grips, we will use a rectangular stainless steel bar. Mount the steel bar on your grips and tighten the screws using a torque wrench. In the DMA application, select the testing direction from the drop-down menu in the Shape Info panel. It is not necessary to add the dimensions of the rigid sample to complete this step. Click on Auto and press Run. A predetermined load will be applied to the rigid sample and system compliance is calculated automatically. For more information on this feature, you can watch the Compliance Compensation Tech Tip linked below. The third step is setting the corrected sample height. This feature is only used when testing in tension or compression geometries. Alternatively, you can measure all sample dimensions yourself with a caliber. For corrected sample height feature, we use a measure the standard block to provide a known measure of length to the software. Pick a standard reference gauge block with a height close to your desired test specimen length. Unlock the column clamps. With the power off, bring the lower grip down using the lift. Put the standard block on the lower grip. Move the lower grip up until the top of the gauge block is very close to the upper grip but not touching it. Lock the column clamps. Turn the power on, check the load box and press RAM2 button to apply a small load to hold the standard block in place. Right click on the displacement meter in WinTest. Click on properties and press auto to set a new tear for your displacement. Your displacement meter shows 0 mm now. In the DMA application, check the corrected sample height option and type in the height of the standard block. After completing this step, you should not unlock column clamps or use micro adjust anymore. The software will now automatically calculate your sample's length. Next, use a caliper to measure thickness and width of your sample and type them in. Save your test file. Turn the power off, mount your sample by tightening the bottom screws first with a torque wrench. Tear the load before tightening the top screws to tear the weight of the lower grip and the sample. After mounting the sample, turn the power on and apply a small preload in the direction of testing using RAM to load. If you want to start your test at a certain displacement, you can use RAM2 button to move the grip to a certain displacement before tightening the top screws. Now you are ready to set up your test conditions and run your DMA test. In this TA Tech Tip, we reviewed the initial steps necessary to run a DMA test on an Electroforce test instrument. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.